In this movie, we're going to look at some basic timeline animation effects that you can create for your turntables. I've got uh, Steve Warner's tank model here in ZBrush 4, and uh, I've created a very simple turnaround just by creating two dots on the, on the camera track for the timeline. I like to animate the expose effect that separates all of the subtools. Uh, and this is a nice way to show off models that have a lot of different parts to them. You can show how complex your model is. So in order to do this, I need to go into the movie palette in the timeline tracks uh, sub palette. I'm going to press the edit button to open the edit sub palette and turn on the explode button. So at the start of the timeline I'm, I'm adding a dot so this is before I've enabled the expose effect. Now turn the expose effect on on the right shelf I'm setting another dot about midway through the timeline. I'll scrub towards the end. You can see the camera is on a different track, so I'm not changing the camera animation, just the expose effect. I'm going to set another keyframe just in the middle with everything sort of blown apart. So I'm going to press the expose button again to bring everything together and then set a fourth keyframe towards the end of the timeline. Now I'm going to press Control shift on the timeline marker to record a movie. When the movie's done, I'm going to press play movie. Well, I'd like to get rid of that uh, fade in of the ZBrush logo. So I'll go down to the title image sub palette of the movie palette and I'll set the fade in and fade out time to zero. Now when I play the movie, you can see that the explode effect has been animated along with the camera. In this version of the scene, I'm going to animate the material changing over time. So now I've enabled material on the timeline track, so I know I'm editing the material. So with this initial material established, I'm going to add a dot. I'm going to change materials and then add a second dot midway through the timeline. And then I'll change the material a third time. And set a third dot. Now when I scrub through the timeline, you can see the materials are changing. The actual change of material happens about midway between the dots, because you don't really fade from one material to another. So here's what the movie looks like, changing material over time. This is a good way to show off your model in different materials within the same movie. In this case, I've created a slightly more elegant uh, camera change and explode effect using the tank model and I'm going to experiment with animating a color change over time. In the timeline tracks sub palette I'm going to press the enable button and see if color is enabled. So now I'll turn on color so that can be animated now and then under edit I'll press the color button. So now I can animate the color. It's important if I'm just going to do a, a general color change that poly painting needs to be off. So if you look at the subtool palette I have the little paintbrush icon for all the subtools is turned off. So poly painting is not enabled. The color is currently set to white. I'm going to go to the start of the timeline and add a dot. Now I'm going to go to about midway through the timeline and change the color to red, or light red, and add a dot. I'll go to the end of the timeline and change the color to green and add a dot. And as I scrub through, you can see the color changes gradually over time. So here is a recorded movie that shows the color change. Unlike material, the color is going to fade from one color to another, so yeah, you'll have a nice gradual transition. You can combine color changes with material changes as well if you like. If you wanted to animate poly painted colors, you would do that using the 3D layers, and I'll demonstrate that in a different movie. But this is just a general color change.